Would you take the deal? If you accept, you'll be earning $1,000 a day without even doing anything. If that sounds too good to be true, that's because it is. There's a catch. Literally everything you say will be broadcast on Twitch and YouTube on a special stream. You won't be able to turn it off. Oh, and you can make it $10,000 a day if you agree to also include live camera feed. Literally everything you do will be on a live stream. In both cases, the streams will run from 9 a.m. to 6 p.m. Monday to Friday with absolutely no way to turn it off. A super advanced AI will make sure to censor some of the stuff you say or show so that the stream is never banned. You can quit the job and stop the live streams anytime you want. However, you'll have to pay a fine of $1 million or go to jail for 10 years. Now, I only have one question for you. Which ability would you choose? The first ability is being able to summon a fictional character into the real world for one hour. They can help you solve problems, fight on your side, or just talk to you when you're feeling down. There's only a one minute cooldown, so you can summon multiple characters at the same time. They will retain their memory if you spawn them again. The second ability is also pretty cool. I know, what could possibly be as good as the first one? The second ability allows you to directly go into the video game game world when you sleep. You can choose any game at all. Everything will feel extremely real and whatever time you spend while sleeping will feel longer. So if you sleep for 8 hours, it will feel like 16 hours. The only catch is that you will also feel pain just like in the real world. You can change the game as many times as you want and you can even change the game in the middle of the dream. Now you decide. Would you do it? You just stumbled upon a crystal that holds immense power. An old guy came out of nowhere and told you to keep your hands off of it as using the crystal is insanely dangerous. He's too old and weak to stop you though. Once you touch the crystal, the age of chaos begins. Wars break out almost everywhere. Diseases are rampant, natural disasters all over the place, and even a freaking meteor shower starts and keeps going for months. This nightmare will last for about five years. All in all, over 100 million people will cease to exist as a result. However, there's a positive effect too. If you survive the five years, you'll become the smartest and strongest person in existence. A demigod with incredible power to change not just your life, but the entire world, for better or for worse. It'll be up to you how exactly you'll use this power. You'll be able to stop wars, change climate, manipulate terrain, and so much more. Hopefully, you won't enter your villain arc by that point. Now, you have to decide. You are about to be born into the real world and now face a difficult decision. You have to choose your life's fate and there are only two options. If you choose the first option, you'll be very rich and successful from a very young age. You'll have everything you could ever ask for. Money, fame, the love of your life, wild adventures and much, much more. You'll be lucky, charismatic and extroverted. However, there's a catch. If you choose this option, your life will peak at 25 years old and it will only be downhill from that point. By the age of 40, you'll already lose half your wealth and by the age of 60, you'll barely have any money to survive. The rest of your life will be absolutely absolutely miserable. The second option is different. You'll be born into poverty with no access to good education, no good jobs, and even clean water will be hard to come by. However, you'll be determined and will work hard your whole life. By the age of 40, you'll move to a rich country, and by the age of 50, you'll become very rich yourself. The rest of your life will be carefree and happy. There won't be a way to change your fate, so choose wisely. Would you roll the dice? You were given a magical dice that holds immense power, but it's not that simple. The dice looks completely normal, but the outcome is different depending on what number you roll. The number one will cure you from all diseases and make your health perfect. The number two will spawn a briefcase with $1 million right beside you. The money is all yours. The number three will increase your luck for 24 hours. You'll be insanely lucky in everything, including gambling, romance, or gaming. But this increased luck won't affect the dice. It will function as normal. The number four gives you a random superpower for 24 hours. Flying, immortality, fireballs, healing powers, or something else. The number five is the best by far. It spawns a random cat. The number six, on the other hand, is different. When you roll six for the first time, nothing happens. But the second time you get it means you'll drop dead in 24 hours. Hours. Nothing will be able to save you, not even rolling number one. Alternatively, you can sell the dice to the rich guy named Jeff. He'll buy it for $10 million. But you can only sell the dice if you've never used it. So, which potion would you choose? Your friend convinced you to prank your local wizard, but it went terribly wrong. The wizard is usually a nice dude, but this time, he's furious. He catches you and locks you up in his dungeon. A few days went by, and the wizard already forgot about you. The cell's lock will only open in 10 years, and it will be impossible to get out, as it's protected with magic. Your friend somehow snuck into the dungeon, but was unable to open the cell. However, he proposed a solution. He gives you two potions, the blue potion and the purple potion. The blue potion will put you into very deep sleep for 10 years. The 10 years will pass almost instantly. By that time, the cell's lock will open. You won't have aged at all and will wake up extremely well rested. The purple potion is slightly different. If you drink it, you'll have to spend just three years inside the dungeon. However, only one day will pass in the real world. You'll have infinite food, books, and an entire Netflix catalog to entertain yourself. So, would you do it? A stray cat runs into your room and starts talking. He explains that he has the power to stop crime from ever happening again, but he needs your help. You can choose any crime at all. Petty theft, copyright infringement, money laundering, piracy, handling salmon in suspicious circumstances, or something a lot more serious. You can tell me, Joe, there's no way there isn't a catch. What's the catch? Oh, there's a catch, all right. The catch is that in order to stop whatever crime you choose from ever happening again, you have to first commit it yourself at least once. You won't be able to cheat by making someone else do it for you. You can only choose one, so choose wisely. On the bright side, the cat will make sure that you avoid punishment, so you won't go to prison, and your reputation won't suffer as a result. Additionally, if you do it, the cat will 
will also give you a device that can scan anyone's mind and reveal all crimes that they've committed in their life. But it only works five times. Now it's time to decide. Which one would you choose? A magician is showing off his collection of wands, and since you're subscribed to this channel, he decides to give you one for free. The pink wand has Cupid's power. You can make any two people instantly fall in love with each other. And yes, it also works with you. The red wand makes two creatures or humans that you choose fight each other mercilessly. They won't stop until one is no longer among us or until you cancel the effect. The green wand will absorb health from any human being. You can get 10 years younger, but you'll also make the other person 10 years older. It also transmits the diseases and injuries. The blue wand slows down time. You'll move and think just as fast, but everything around you will be three times slower than normal. It only works for up to one hour a day or 20 minutes in the real world time. Or you can freeze time entirely, but only for 10 minutes a day. The purple wand teleports you wherever you point it at with infinite uses. And the only side effect is that there's one in 100 chance that upon teleportation, all your clothing will be randomized. Now you decide. Would you do it? You're a highly successful CEO of a billion dollar company that is doing insanely well. Your company owns the largest social media in the entire world. Your salary is over $100,000 a month and things have been going really well so far. One day, you go to work only to realize that your entire life is about to change forever. A new social media named Catbook has emerged and is growing at an alarming rate. A week later, it's obvious that your users are moving away from your website in favor of the new one. In the matter of just a few weeks, you've already lost 10% of your audience and it's only getting worse. At this pace, it won't be long before either company goes bankrupt or you're fired. You may be earning a lot now, but that's about to change as your salary will plummet even if you find a new job and there's nothing you can do. Well, except one last thing. The devil on your shoulder has spoken. Make anonymous false accusations about the Catbook CEO, ruin his reputation, hack into their systems and leak their users' data and some other stuff. You have the money and the power to make it happen. But are you ready to ruin an innocent person's life to save your business? Which button would you press? In front of you is five buttons. Each can change the world dramatically. The red button stops all current wars. And no wars will ever happen on Earth. Not in 100, not in 10,000 years. The yellow button fixes all economic problems in the world. No more poverty, homelessness, and all people have their basic needs satisfied. Education and medicine is freely available to absolutely everyone. The green button will eradicate all diseases forever. No more COVID, flu, and even common cold will become history. The blue button will convert all countries into one political system that you choose. You can make all countries democracies, convert everyone into communism, or turn the entire planet into North Korean-style dictatorship. The purple button is probably the most unique one. If you press it, cats will gain consciousness and they will rule the world. Humans will be taken care of and will never have to work again. Alternatively, if you choose to not press any buttons at all, you'll be given $10 million. There's no going back. It's time to decide. Would you do it? You've just caught an evil criminal guy named Jake who is responsible for so much horrible stuff. He harmed innocents, stole millions of dollars, robbed banks, destroyed property, and so much more. It took 13 years to catch him, but now he's finally yours. However, now you face a dilemma. The criminal guy offers you lots and lots of money. $10 million to be precise if you just let him go. Initially, you brushed it off and wanted to say no, but then you remembered something important. The love of your life is very sick, and the only way to save them is to perform an insanely expensive surgery and buy expensive medication. There's not a chance that you could afford it normally, but Jake can give you enough money to save your partner's life and to live carefree for years. All you have to do is let him go and pretend that you never caught him in the first place. There won't be legal consequences for you as no one knows that you caught Jake, but are you really ready to let a criminal guy free to save someone you love?